Hey, y'all. Hey, let's get into this intuitive reading, this intuitive message, this guided reading, guided message for Nicole Brown Simpson. This reading is alleged and for entertainment purposes. Sometimes the tea is hot and sometimes it's not. You have to watch the video to the end to determine for yourself. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're always here, welcome back, friend. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Okay, now listen, you guys. Real quick, my question is about her and her energy towards OJ Simpson. I'm going to do a separate reading on OJ Simpson. Hey. Thank you, Spirit, later on today. But I got to be real respectful because the energy is like, she definitely wants to separate. Like, I don't know how to, like, there's this, it's just this energy of like, don't get me, don't get it twisted. Don't get me up in this mug. Like. I don't even want to deal with that. I'm going to say what I got to say. And then I want, I don't want to be attached to that. That's what it is. I don't want to be attached to that. All right. So when it comes to them, she's acknowledging like there was an obstacle. There was something um, that she just couldn't do. She couldn't move. She couldn't get over. She was taking, she, it feels like, like, you know, take accountability and responsibility. It's, it's screaming like, I did that. I was doing that. There's ups and downs in the background, just acknowledging like there's ups and downs. There's also water being very emotional and there could be a water sign, but this is attached to someone whom, uh, she was dealing with. Like she's acknowledging like she had a lot of solar plexus energy and she was kissing up and hugging up on her boo. Okay. Snuggling, pillow talk, bonding and someone's favorite, but this created a lot of obstacles. This created a lot of standstill. This created not, no movement. And there was assistance in this. And there was a treasured objective in wanting her to have like no movement, standstill, halt kind of energy. Um, on the bottom of the deck subconsciously, there's this energy of pointing fingers, pointing blame. It's very emotional. Looking at someone like, mm, but then they looking at you too like, mm, you know what I'm saying? Uh, suffering, full disdain, displeasure, consent, poking fun. Read between the lines. So she's acknowledging like it was a lot of pettiness, a lot of petty back and forth between her and him her being nicole and him being oj simpson and she said if that ain't truth gris ain't groceries and that's when the deck is just like look neo i told you what i could tell you with this deck let's try another one again there is this energy of do not attach me to this person i'm gonna say what i gotta say and then i would like to respectfully move on that's quite interesting all right so nicole brown I don't think she likes that Simpson thing. It comes with something. Thank you, Spirit. But she's like, call me Nicole Brown, please. <laughs> okay, so she's like, yeah, I hated nothing about him. There was still love in her heart. Like, she wasn't like, I hate this man. I hate this man. Not like that. It wasn't like that. But again, there's just this energy of leave me the fuck alone. I don't want to be attached to you, etc. See, she was saying that she was running away from him. Like, I hate nothing about you, but I'm running away from you. Okay. And in the middle of the deck, she's also acknowledging that he was sick. She was sick. There was a lot of caution. There was a lot of fulfilling of fantasies. Money hungry will do anything in their feelings. She's acknowledging all of these things when it comes to their relationship. Um, <laughs> thank you. Okay. So, um, he was sick. There was a lot of signals that this this was not bad now this was not good um some of the signals were that he was always fulfilling a fantasy and that he would do anything for money he being oj simpson in the middle of the deck she's also acknowledging that he was oftentimes in his feelings about being caught finding evidence of getting caught cheating etc um there's this layered energy too about her being a cheater as well being promiscuous sleeping around might have even said these things about her that she was a hoe etc etc again this reading is alleged and for entertainment purposes but he just knew that he was fucking up like you just know it and he knew that he was fucking up when she got into another relationship there's a private relationship and this feels like it was a secret like i have to keep this a secret i have to protect this um but she's also acknowledging like this is very old this is old information this is outdated this is this is just discarded like this is this is not new information at at all okay there is um this energy that's coming through like uh i don't know why but there's like this question of how does she feel about his passing about his transition there is karmic debt here she is acknowledging that thank you all right she said you already noticed it you know how i feel girl <laughs> 
And she says she is staying centered in alignment with the universe. Like she is healed. She is, she is light. She is peace. She is calm. She is serene. But you already know the tea. How would you, how do you think I would feel? <laughs> oh goodness. Um, She's also acknowledging that this has something to do with mm, 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 mm. not my business, not my problem, but this is all alleged. <laughs> I'm biting on whether I should say it or not, but it is, I mean, again, this is alleged and for entertainment purposes. She's like, there is more to this situation than what people are saying. His transition has to do with something else and people aren't saying it and that's not my business. Um, but she's acknowledging that there that he should have protected himself a little bit. He should have been smarter. Okay. There's an energy that there was more to this than what the me people are telling you. Like they're saying that this was the reason for his transition, but she's saying no 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 no. No, 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 no. And she says she's watching shit go down and enjoying the gossip. Okay. Not my business, not my problem. All right. All right. Nicole Brown. Current energy in relationship to um, OJ Simpson. I don't know what his real name is. People just call him OJ Simpson. But it feels like she's like, I called him something else. What does she call him? What is his real name? Orenthal James. Uh, did you call him Orenthal? Is that his real name, y'all? Orenthal James. Uh, it feels like she called him James. Or she just called him something else. She didn't necessarily call him OJ, I don't think. It doesn't feel like that. But let's just call him James, girl. Because it feels like you might have called him James. <laughs> but anyway, Nicole Brown. How did you feel about OJ? James. What's that energetic energy? Current past What's the energy. Hey. Thank you, spirit. The police had to get involved when it came to her and him, an official person. Um and this was also even a judge, maybe, a mature man. Um, so the police were involved, and when it comes to him, an official person, a mature man. And this was a lot of hard work. And she did it. She toiled and labored for the children. For a child, for the children. She worked really hard dealing with him. She was up late at night. But there was a lot of pieces involved in regards to the official man. A mature man. Having to get involved when it comes to Orenthal James OJ. She toiled and labored for the children, for her child, okay? Uh, the, what was the consistency of your relationship with OJ? All right. Okay, I always see hands like this as children. So she's acknowledging they were children. They were, she received a lot of gifts as well. Um, but it came with a lot of messages and she was sharing a lot of information secretly to people about her relationship, but she said, and gave me a lot of thank you gifts. And, and I always see those hands as children. Like when you cup hands like this, like, it's okay. So it's just a lot of gifts, children, but she also sent a lot of messages and these were private secret messages. And it was a way that she would get this information to someone. Okay. About him, about their relationship, etc. Um, she's also acknowledging that he thought a lot about her, but then he was just always thinking. He was always trying to create this image of her. He was always in his head about her. A lot of air sign energy. He was always thinking, what is she up to? You know what I'm saying? You know when someone is just very unsettled within themselves, they always trying to figure out what the next person is doing when they're typically the ones doing it. She said he was always trying to figure out something. Um, and he was her main man. Like, why was you thinking this when you was the main one? I was with you. I was, I was, I was with you. Um, but she got messages of concern when it came to him. Something about a message. It just keeps talking about a message. It keeps having a message. But she also sent out messages of concern as well. Um, 
and why she was so quiet about it. Why she was so quiet about the messages. I don't know. Why did it have to be in secret? Why did all these messages have to be in secret, Nicole? Like... She didn't want to hear something. Some people didn't want to hear it. They just, they weren't, the people were closed ears to what she was saying. Um, she said, you already know the tea. This was a nightmare. Um, total drama and action. I'm also picking up on this energy that um, she didn't like what was happening in her environment per se around this Holly weird notion. And you get my drift. She's acknowledging that what we're seeing now is nothing new, like in Holly Weird. And she didn't, she just didn't, she couldn't fit in with that. She didn't want to get down with that. And it feels like he was down with that. He was down with some of the things that people do behind closed doors in Holly Weird. And she's just like, nah, I didn't want to do it. But people didn't want to hear her complaining either. Like, this is why she had to send it to certain people in a certain way. Like, they weren't trying to hear me when I was saying, yo, what's up with this dude? Like... So, Nicole Brown, how do you, what's your, how, his energy? <laughs> At the time, what was his energy like? What was his energy like? OJ, James. Okay, she's acknowledging the polys. So it's interesting because it feels like somebody has somebody on one end and they had somebody else on the other. And again, she's just like, I wasn't into it. I wasn't into it. I didn't want to play that game. She could have played that game for a little bit, but she's also acknowledging that there was a lot of disoriented. She was disoriented. Um, there was a lot of things, in, indulging in things that could have, you know, made her choices seem, feel altered. I'll say that. Again, this is alleged, but she's just like, I wasn't into it, but he was into it. Uh, conflicts exposed, selfishness, trust issues, not working well with others, divided, monogamy, um, competition, jealousy, third party, and complications. So at the time, she's acknowledging that was his energy with her. All right. Nicole. Yeah, she says she always had a gut feeling when it came to him. Look how sad she looks, but she's like, I knew, I knew it. I knew it when it came to him. And she cried herself to sleep a lot of times with a broken heart. And she was holding on. She's not lying. Like, I was holding on. Um, but then the skeletons came out of the closet. Wasn't anything that I could do about it. And she enjoyed a lot of magical moments. Once those skeletons came out of the closet, a lot of magical moments by herself. Enjoyed her being free. She enjoyed herself being free. She enjoyed herself being single. She enjoyed her time alone without him okay now there is an energy that spirit wants me to ask about nicole what's being hidden what are you hiding in regards to oj um james or Renthal james his behavior towards you his energy towards you I know it feels like we want to talk about that day, so go ahead if you want. Okay. It was revenge. See, I knew it. I knew something was trying to come out. Major jealousy. Yeah. And she says she's got hidden messages. It keeps talking about hidden messages because it's chestnut checkers. Okay. And this has to do with her doing what she wanted to do with her yoni. And being the empress and being open and being sensual and being fluid and very emotional, but being herself. Okay. Yeah. She's saying that day it was about revenge and major jealousy, hidden messages. There was more than one person there. Um, and I'm speaking in reference to her transition, the day of which she transitions. Chestnut Checker. So there is messages out there and people know about these messages. People might even start sharing this information now that he's no longer here because they don't fear, feel 
fearful of him because he's no longer here. But she's acknowledging that, you know, this is about her being able to control and have control of her body, herself and her choices um, and be open. You know, anything else you want to say about that day of which you transitioned? Um, pull up on me anything. So this has something to do with her being with someone at the time of her transition. They He pulled up on her. He said, what's up? She said, what's up? You know, that kind of energy. I mean, that's her business. She said she was doing her thing. Okay. Um, so consciously, were they going to get married? She's thinking that this guy could have, she could have married this guy. What's the guy's name that she was with? Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, but she was into it, too. She's acknowledging that both of them were kind of like, fuck the bullshit. They were seeking protection in different kind of ways, spiritual protection, spiritual baths. They were into kind of finding out what was going on, what, what, what was the energy around. It feels like trying to seek some form of protection from, for them combined, like, let's stay tapped in. Like, maybe she was into it. Maybe introduced him to, into it. This is just what the energy is saying. So, Nicole and Ron Goldman. Goldman, Goldman. Okay, yeah, she said, we had a love like fire, baby. It was sizzling and it was cracking. Who's a fire sign? She said, baby, it was... Okay. She said it was a soul tie. So there's a karmic connection, karmic debt, which is interesting because she's acknowledging like a part of what they had, a part of what they did was a soul tie connection. It's interesting because as much as it feels like it wasn't written in the stars for them, there's something also that's very like a gravitational pull that just pulls these two energies together. And it was like... Mm, like sweet okay um, but she's also acknowledging that there was a lot of conversation her ancestors had to step in um, there's a lot of conversation around her and him Ron and her uh, the three witches comes up and so there was spell work there was powerful plays there was moves and manifestations there was an energy of sacrifice it just comes up and we have the moon here facing your enemies facing anxiety dealing with things that you try to suppress that come up anyway it feels like three 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 what is this energy of three there there's an energy of three and it also makes me feel like allegedly at the time when her transition happened there was it wasn't I mean, it was more people there it just does does that make sense it just and she's saying that this has to do with the altar who did she marry okay baby you better quit playing with me this this have this this work this manifestation has to deal with the person that she did marry who was she married to Orenthal James. Okay, and Spirit is also acknowledging the ancestors are coming through and they're saying that they intervened at this time and they had to step in and they had to clear, cancel, and release. They had to do some things. They had to they had to come in. And again, there's three. All right. I hear you loud and clear, sis. All right, so she does want to say something else about how the collective moves in love and light. So I'm going to use the Spirit messages let's see what's your message to the collective moving in love light mm -hmm. <sighs> hello from heaven 
your loved ones in the spirit world want to connect with you as much as you want to connect with them. They know you've been thinking of them and they're sending you signs and symbols to show how much they love you to prove they're with you at this time. And I've always said that, you guys, hence why I feel like I can connect to energy. I feel like I connect to energy because energy never dies and they're always trying to speak to us. They're always trying to tap us on the shoulder. They're always trying to lay synchronicities, um, put numbers together. Um, they, I mean, it's just uh, they, the energy of communicating like we communicate is not the same. So they do it in their own format, but they just want our minds to be open, our hearts to be open, our ears to listen, our body to completely feel their presence because it's not a hard conversation to have but you have to be open-minded to it okay and she's acknowledging that there's all kinds of ways that ancestors send signals and messages and she does it often and maybe her children feel, feel it her friends her very close friends feel it there is an energy shift now because there's also a message when i said close friend it made me think of um Thank you, spirit. Okay, we go in there, aren't we? Uh, which deck you want to use, ma? Um, let me think about her friend, Chris Jenner. What's, what's going on? Okay. High honor. There's an energy of her acknowledging that Chris Jenner has this high honor. She seemed very prestigious. She's seen almost diplomat, like presidential. You know what I'm saying? Interesting. Um, and she said that there's something that she's expecting subconsciously. There's something that has her looking out the window. She's waiting for something. What is she waiting for, Nicole? Imprisonment. She's acknowledging that she has a lot of status. She's seen in this um, collective by some, not by all. Don't get it twisted, y'all. I can't speak for everyone. But she's just acknowledging like she had this high status. And now she's sitting in the room looking out the window subconsciously with all this high status. You sitting out the room. Look at look at the face. It's very like, hmm, hmm what's getting ready to happen hmm expecting what who are you expecting thank you sir and she's saying prison imprisonment is coming your way sis now why you feel like that like what she do i mean what's your overall energy towards christian or She's a privileged lady. Due to her occupation. But there is also some courtship. I feel like this. I felt that energy. Courtship in the middle. Hmm. Who was she courting with? Was she courting with y'all? Or in Thor? Chris Jenner and OJ. That card already came out. Interesting. So, y'all was married. The three witches got to manifesting. But I'm asking about Chris Jenner. No sorries allowed. He's like, will you accept my apology? The rose is in the mouth. You had a lot of heavy energy on your marriage. A lot of people in your business and whispering and talking about your marriage. Was she one of them? Was she one of them? Is she a backstabber? Allegedly? All right. OJ and Chris Jenner. Ship has sailed. The ship has sailed. It's no longer there. What was is what was Thank you, Spirit. What was once is no longer. It keeps talking about spell work when it comes to Chris Jenner and Girl. Girl, not you had a gut feeling. 
Oh, child, stop. Is that true? It just keeps saying like Holly Weird. Holly Weird is what people do in Holly Weird. They do this shit. Hey. Thank you, Spirit. And I'm, I just wasn't into it. I wasn't into the the two the threesomes and the brrr, da, 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 da. Damn. So the ship sailed, but she's acknowledging that between them, there was some type of spell work. There was some type of love spell. And it gave her a heart attack. She couldn't believe it. Facing her fears. She's crying like, my homie? Look, he got a girl on this end, a girl on that end. And she said, I had a gut feeling that they was fooling around. Fooling. Fooling around. <sighs> Baby. All right, Nicole. Come on, girl. Because I gotta... I gotta go. <laughs> For real. All right. So, Nicole. <sighs> she was seeking security, paying debts, and trying to improve her finances. She's acknowledging with the Five of Pentacles in reverse. She's also acknowledging with the Ten of Swords. Subconsciously, she thought the worst was over. She was learning from the past. But she's also acknowledging that some things were just beyond repair. With the Three of Wands in the middle of the deck, she was focused on teamwork, planning ahead, long distance travel, and luck. Like, she was, she, it just feels like at the time, I wasn't even thinking like this could even pop off. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> Time of your transition, what was your energy? Yeah, before, like the day of. Thank you. She's again saying that she was just focusing on security, paying her debts, and improving her finances. But she's acknowledging that someone was trying to manipulate this energy. And it made her feel very scattered and wasteful. Uh, she's also acknowledging that she could have not been having as much money as she was used to. And so there was this energy of feeling like in debt or feeling like lack. Okay, scarce. Overspending and a lack of opportunities in the middle of the deck. She said that somebody came through to reclaim their power. She feels free now. She was able to leave a bad situation. But somebody came through. Something came through with a devil card and so it has multiple layers like they came they came through and unfortunately you know she was hurt terribly um but in this she was able to reclaim their power in this they also felt like they were able to reclaim their power she felt free they felt free do you understand what i'm saying it feels very layered it also feels very provoked um holly weird kind of energy again it just keeps coming up with the this the, the energy of sacrifice um was she um, this person was a foolish person. Um, they had no goals. The page of pentacles, it feels like they were easily distracted and lazy with the page of wands. Whoever she's talking about, um, this is their energy. Whoever came in to assist and or did and were involved in her transition. Spirit is also acknowledging with the eight of pentacles. They were very concentrating on achieving their goals. They were paying attention to detail. Almost an entrepreneur at it. This person was like, uh, when it comes to how she was um hurt they were like an expert at what they were doing Th this was not for play play they knew exactly what to do how to do it when to get in when to get out kind of energy it feels like she was watched okay yeah um failure no reward and a lack of confidence with the six of wands so she's just energetically she's like they didn't get anywhere in life they were met with failure, no reward, and a lack of confidence for their for their uh, actions. Okay, Six of Wands. What's your energy towards Orenthal James? Did you call him James? Did you call him OJ? I feel like you called him James, girl. All right. Okay. She said losing interest, separation, and an unhappy couple with the two of cups. She said, no, nah, mommy. He was a mature man reaching his goals. Um, businessman, he was stable, and he had an empire. She's not acknowledging, too, that he broke that back. With the two of pentacles, um, she's also acknowledging with the two of pentacles that there was a need for balance in their relationship, work-life balance, because they dealt with a lot of ups and downs in their partnership and a lot of financial juggling. And this is so interesting because, you know, sometimes people be thinking, let me slow down. People think that when you see somebody on television, they got da 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 They got all of this money. But she's like, honey, we dealt with financial hardships like it was nobody's business. Because he had extracurricular activities. He liked to do things that made us burn up that money quickly. Um, she's also acknowledging death ending um, to their situation. This is all subconscious. She's saying moving on, spiritual transformation, sudden change. But it was an ending to this situation, which ultimately created some new beginnings. But there was an upheaval. It was an uphill journey all the time. 
time. She's acknowledging reverse roles in their relationship, doing things in an unconventional way, bad business with the Hierophant. Could have even been seeking therapy, but just someone just, you know, got to the point where they were like, I refuse. Um, she's an absent mother. Um, I just refuse, okay? Um, there's also an energy with the Queen of Swords. There's an air sign energy, female coming through, negative energy, negative self-talk. This person was rude. And she's acknowledging her involvement in their relationship, just souring, absent mother, dependent woman. In the middle of the deck, she's acknowledging that there's a huge inheritance when it comes to him and her. Um, what was left, a big money, wealthy family, lump sum, long-term business. Did she leave money to her children? Uh, moving away from home, feeling unwelcome and a lack of support with the four of wands. Her home was just unhappy. Okay, what is your message to the collective closing out? Okay, she wants to speak about her relationship to Ron Goldman. Overwhelmed, emotional detachment and indecision with the Two of Swords. She feels very overwhelmed about it. She, it, it almost feels like you feel she feels guilty about putting him in this situation. Um, emotional detachment and indecision, like wanting to say, let's, let's break this off, but just not having, you know, just being like, uh, what do I do? Which one do I mean? How do I choose? Uh, she's also acknowledging reverse roles and doing things in an unconventional way. Um, something about their relationship, having to deal with all of this stuff made it very, kind of rocky, right? Because it's like, pick me, choose me. I can't, you don't understand what I deal with. I don't want to put you in a situation. Just like that hot like fire car came out passionate, but yet chaotic. She's acknowledging like this relationship wasn't like the one with the Renthal James, but it did have its issues. OK, she knew that it was a gamble and she was willing to let go with the four of pentacles uh, with the king of swords. Somebody came through um, a wise man of authority and masculinity law. What about this king of swords? So we keep hearing about these mature men. Somebody came through and set the record straight on this relationship. Yep. And they were cons they were concentrating on their details when it came to their relationship. They hit the gavel on this relationship and said, that's it. We're done. We're done. You're done. You're done. Middle of the deck. <sighs> They're working too hard at this relationship. And there was dependency. But it just became heavy. It came, it became, and she's also acknowledging like maybe he came over that day to kind of talk to her and try to convince her, you know, maybe we should try this again. Maybe we could do it differently. It's just this energy. And then boom, death. With the nine of pentacles, just really, really working at this relationship too hard. It feels like she was like, I'm stressed behind it even. And then next is death, spiritual transformation. Okay. All right. Spirit says she got some final words. Uh, we done, baby, because I feel like this is one of the longest readings I've done in a minute. <laughs> but she got a lot to say. Be fucking grateful. Shit could be so much worse. All right. <laughs> this reading is alleged and for entertainment purposes. Now we sit back and let the universe do what the universe does. <laughs> what? This man done went on and she says, <laughs> whatever he's dealing with, be grateful because that shit could be so much worse. Okay.